What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. And on today's episode, we are going to be opening up a special package that we got in the mail from Joshua Moore. We've done another video game trade, and I'm very excited to crack into this and show you what we have here. Uh, but before I forget, I wanted to mention that Josh is finally making YouTube videos. So I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description below. I highly recommend uh, checking him out. Okay, so please do that. All right, video game trade. To tell you the truth, um, I haven't sent his stuff yet, and there's a reason for that. So let's just crack right in to what we have here. And if you know anything about Josh, he always sends additional items, and he already told me to not be surprised if there's extra stuff in here. Not surprising at all. That's, that's just how things go when you're dealing with Josh. Okay, very generous guy. I've said this before. Uh, okay. Let's see what we have here. I'll try to show you a sneak peek of the box. Lots of bubble wrap. Okay. Box goes that way. You know how it goes. All right. We've got a few games in here. Let's see. I'm going to be sending him... Gosh, I already forgot. My brain is completely fried. What am I going to be sending him? I already forgot. Oh, yes. Twilight Princess on the Wii. I set it aside, and I'm trying to jog my memory over there. Twilight Princess on the Wii and uh, Little Big Planet. One of the Little Big Planet games on the PlayStation 3. Okay, and traded that for, I already see the bonus item. I'm not going to reveal what that is yet. I'm just going to get through this bubble wrap as best I can here so that you don't have to wait too much longer. Sorry about that. All right, we traded that for Decap Attack on the Sega Genesis. I'm trying to build up the Sega Genesis collection a bit. Very exciting stuff for me. I had very little uh, exposure to it as a kid. I had a, a neighbor that had it. That's my only uh, exposure to the Sega Genesis. So now that we have one, we're trying to accumulate some games. This game looks hilarious and fun. So I'm very much excited to play that. Uh, look at this. There's a bonus item in here. It's a Game Boy game. Alleyway. Alleyway. Huh. It almost looks like a breakout type game based on the based on the cover art there that should be interesting josh thank you so much you already told me that you're gonna do that you didn't have to do that i have to say that thank you so much and he is also uh, including in this package this isn't for me so a little bit of a story here teenage mutant ninja turtles uh hyperstone heist right the label has seen better days so I guess Josh is in the middle of a move, and he has not uh, taken his Genesis out of the box yet in his new home. This is my understanding. Anyway, he wanted to send this my way because he got a good deal on this, very, very good deal, and he wanted me to test this game out for him. So I figured, why not? And he said, you know, just keep it for a little while. When you send over uh, his trades, that's the reason I'm, you know, holding on to them for a little bit longer. Just just send this back and let me know if it was able to fire up. So you know what I'm going to do? We're going to do that right now together. Let's check out some Hyperstone Heist on the Sega Genesis together. Okay, I had this idea in my head that I could show you some behind the scenes but uh, then I quickly realized that uh, it's going to be pretty embarrassing for me to go through this rat's nest of cables while wearing sunglasses. Uh, trying to make sure I'm pulling out the right controller here. I could barely see anything. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, we're in. TV. I did not do anything with the, the game as far as cleaning the pins. We're just gonna we're just gonna jam it in there and pray. Uh, 
Make sure our switcher is set to the right console there. All right, here it goes. And uh oh. And uh oh. I'm going to give this game a quick uh, cleaning and hopefully uh, she fires up. Stand by. All right, I'm really hoping this works out. I just used a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on some Q-tips. I did not use any brass, so I know some people are not a fan of using brass, so I'm not going to use this on Josh's game. Once again, we're going to cross our fingers and hope she fires up. <gasps> Look at that. I think we're in. That's looking good. Is the volume turned up? Ooh. I don't know if I've ever heard the Konami logo sound on the Genesis. Pressing the start button. Maybe the controller isn't in all the way. Oh, I put the controller in the. Player. I put the play. I put the controller in the player two spot because I'm blind right now. Uh, I always I always look at this and then I don't. I never do anything. Yeah, it's the same as uh. You know, it's the same options as uh. Turtles in Time, right? Different game, of course. No, no mode seven effects, of course. But uh, we are looking forward to this, nonetheless. Same type of jump. No throwing, of course. Feels real good. Smooth, smooth gameplay. Very responsive controls.
for saving that pizza because I thought there would be a boss battle there. I don't know. are going to be seemingly longer here. Unless it's just a different format with no boss battles, I can't imagine that. these stages. That's my only comment right now. Cool water animation we got going on here. Interesting. Lots of uh, a lot of the same elements from the two games. Different, but very similar. Thank you. 
Well, Josh, I would say your game is in working condition. That was a lot of fun. Uh, first time playing that. Very, very interesting. My comments about that seems like it's A, more difficult than Turtles in Time. Uh, the stages are more lengthy. Interesting to see Leatherhead as the first boss there and not like, you know, what is he? He's way later in the game in Turtles in Time. He, he's, uh... Yeah, he's way later in the game. That's very interesting. He's on the stage with the train, I believe, uh, in the Old West. Very, very cool. I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching once again. Thank you to Joshua Moore for the excellent trades. And uh, go check out his channel. I really appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.